I mean, it's not a York tour unless you see geese, is it really? <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to another YouTube video. Today I want to show you around the campus. I've been meaning to do this for three years and I was going to do it this kind of in like third term then corona happened and we couldn't go on campus. So now lockdown rules are sort of lifting a bit and I can walk around campus. I want to basically show you the campuses at University of York. We have two, Campus East and Campus West and kind of also take you a bit down memory lane for me and you know maybe tell some stories and shed a bit of light into York and what it's like to be here as a student and to show you like my favourite places really as well as give you a general overview of what the campuses are like and what to expect if you come here. So right now I am in my student house, I live in Badger Hill which is like one of the main locations for students to live at if you're at the University of York. It basically is right near campus, it's probably 10 minutes to either campus so it's really prime location but it's also quite sought after. These houses normally go like easily a year in advance so you need to get them quite early on. And I'm gonna then walk to campus, show you campus east and then we're gonna go to campus west. Pray it doesn't rain because it looks very very cloudy <laughs> and yeah let's go. Okay so that's my beloved student house. So for reference this is the end of the Badger Hill Road and as you turn round Right over there is campus, so it's very, very close. Just as you walk onto Campus East, you have Nisa, a doctor's practice, and an assortment of food places. So we're just walking on to Campus East now, and we're preparing to enter into the wind tunnel. Don't know what it is about campuses at York, but they are literally the windiest parts of the whole city. Campus East is surrounded by greenery, which you can walk around and it's great in the summer months. Okay, so currently we are in Goodrick College and this is on Campus East. There are three colleges on Campus East. Goodrick, there's Langwith and then Constantine. Constantine was my college, so when we get there, I'm gonna tell you some fun things about it. Basically, all of this in Goodrick is accommodation blocks and the rooms are typically standard, so you get like a single bed and you can get an ensuite, but most of them are shared bathroom. And in the kitchens, you don't get like a sofa area, you just get like a kitchen and then a dining room table. So yeah, that's Goodrick. This is the Goodrick Nucleus, which is the common room for Goodrick. They have food events in there, all socials, and also it's a really good space to hang out. So a lot of my friends at university were in Goodrick purely because, as you can see, this is Goodrick, and then we turn around and that building right there is the law school. So it literally is a hot 10 second commute to go to classes if you do law feels so weird to walk past the law building and it's a shame that I can't go in because of Rona everything's actually locked off and closed so the closest we can get is sort of walking alongside it thinking about PBL remembering all the seminars oh so right now I'm in the bit of campus I, like, I don't know I like to call it like the square I mean it's not what it's called it doesn't really have a name but it's basically the hub for campus east so behind me you have the law school a management building opposite that you have computer science across from that you have tftv which is like tv theater film media sort of um, department there used to be a bus stop right over there but now it's construction work and then to the left you have the Roncook Cub which is like an overspill for lectures it has a little cafe in it and it's just like a hangout space for students as well as places you can have like seminars and things so this is basically where all the academic elements to campus east are and then the rest of Campus East is literally just accommodation. So right now we're outside the Ron Cook Hub. My favorite thing about the Ron Cook Hub is that they have these pods on the lake which you can rent out and use them for like meetings, study spaces, and they're pretty much you can rent out all throughout the night as well. So if you want a late night study session, they're brilliant for it. So this is the Piazza building. It's exactly the same as the Ron Cook Hub. You have classes there, lectures there, and it also has a Starbucks and a fully functioning restaurant. 
So now we are in Langwith. Behind me is the Glass House, which is the only campus bar on Campus East. Also, Langwith don't really have a common room as such because they have the campus bar instead. So Langwith is more of like, it's meant to be like the artsy college, I suppose, of Campus East. And there's two types of accommodation you can get here. You can either get houses or you can get blocks. The accommodation is more premium. It's basically exactly the same as Constantine, but the color schemes are a bit different for the rooms. Here, they're a lot more bold and bright you can get like basically neon orange and yellow and green walls or in Constantine it's a lot more neutral you either get red or you get grey other than that Langwith is quite sporty it's probably the biggest college on campus east it's like has the most buildings normally it's absolutely rammed the amount of days I've sat here at the picnic benches outside glass house with a pitcher or a pint talking to my mates either in between lectures or after a day of uni like this is normally where it's at in Langwith especially in the summer months and this bar normally opens at about 11 o'clock midnight and it opens around like 11, 10 in the morning. So they do breakfast, they do lunch and they also do dinner. And because it's a student bar, it means the prices are way cheaper than um, a normal pub. So all of the campus bars are like subsidized to the uni and all the money you spend there goes back into the uni. So a pint here literally is like 250, three pounds. So now I'll take you to Constantine. There's Constantine in its pride and glory. And then literally across the way, Langwith. Okay, so now we're in Constantine. This was my college. Behind me, we have the Forum, which is the Constantine like common room. It has like pool tables and stuff in there, um, computers to do work, and basically that's where a lot of parties happen, especially because it has the balcony. So in the summer, it's pretty good. So in Constantine, we have houses and blocks, much like Langwith. So these are sort of the houses, and then the blocks are like here. Oh, so I'm going down memory lane right now. The block behind me is block E2, and that's where I lived in my first year as a fresher. I was like the second room along, but on the back, for anybody that ever gets that block. Oh, we had such a good flat. It was so lovely, that block was. So I thought I'd go around the back. Okay, so that second window was my room. And then that over there, it looks far away, but it's not, it's like a five minute walk, is the student gym. I just want to show like how small Campus East actually is because it might feel bigger now I'm showing you in this format. But like that is TFTV, that is the Piazza building, that is Languid. And then here's Constantine. And now behind me, block A1, this was my block in second year because I stayed on um, to live in college second year. That was my room. Okay, so that's pretty much it for Campus East. It's important to note that you can get from Constantine, which is the furthest point east on the campus, to go to the Law Building, which is like the furthest point west. That takes about five to seven minutes to walk it. It is really great if you have classes on Campus East to stay on Campus East if you want that close proximity. But if you don't and you want a bit of separation, then Campus West is probably for you. Although the vibe of Campus West is very, very different to East. So we're gonna walk there now. And it normally takes probably 25 Five minutes half an hour there is normally buses but because of rona there are no buses so we are gonna have to walk it but the buses normally are every 15 minutes but from the interchange which is like the point that i showed you earlier by nisa and they run pretty much 24 7 throughout the day and night and they are free between campuses but that bus also can take you into town and then the train station so it's really really handy and then if you do want to go into town on the app you can literally pay for a bus ticket for a pound each way so it's really cheap okay for reference so you have Nisa here and there is the campus now down this road is to campus west but across here is Badger Hill so it's all very close-knit so this is me just showing you where we walked from campus east all the way to Heslington Hall on campus west now this is Heslington Hall. It's a part of campus and it's at the start of campus west surrounded by all of this greenery so right now we were on Campus West. Heslington Hall is like the staple to know that you're on Campus West. And here we are in Derwent. Hey Derwent, hey Derwent. That's a little chant that we do on the buses on any night out for Derwent. This is Campus West. As you can see, the vibe is very different to Campus East. It's a lot older. This is like 1960s vibe, 1950s. Whereas Campus East is like, has been built in the last 10 years basically. 
Now these are all the grounds to Heslington Hall which are also a part of campus and the greenery stretches around the lake which goes all around campus. So now I am on Campus West in the centre at Greg's Place, which is basically this hangout spot by the lake. Behind me is Central Hall, which is where you graduate. And then across the lake over there, you have the Exhibition Centre, which is where the law fair happens, which is where the Freshers' Fair happens and things like that in your first weeks of university. So now we are in Vambra. As you can see, the accommodation here on Campus West is very different to how it is on East. It's a lot older, it's a lot more run down, is probably the best way to put it. And also the vibe of Campus West is different in that within each of the colleges here, you have department buildings. It means there's a lot higher concentration of people here. And also it means that you can get accommodation right near your department. But it also means that your department is so close to your room that you might see your lecturers when you're wandering around your college. So here is Yusu, and then across from Yusu you have the maths department. Right, so in true York style, it has begun to rain, so I'm glad that we've got this far in the video before it's going to chuck it down. Right now we're by the UC building, which is a student union building. I'm not going to lie, I've never been in there. And then we've got the exhibition centre, as I said, where all the fairs are held. And then you've got the pause of cabins and things here for physics. And now we're sort of going on to the far side of Campus West, which is where James College and Psychology are, as well as the environmental building, Wentworth College, which is for post-grad students, and also where biology is. Right behind me is the lounge, which is a campus bar here on um, Heslington West. I think there's like five bars here, whereas there's one on East. I honestly don't quote me on that, I don't know, but this is one of the main ones. Uh, I've never really been here because it's inside the dining hall for the case of accommodation in James College, so it's not exactly glamorous, but you can get a cheap pint all the same. Behind me here, this is a mixture of James College and then Psychology, which is like that way on. So right now we are in James College. James College is actually quite a big college. I normally run around here. Not gonna lie, don't really know much about this college other than that it is the sporty one purely because the other campus gym is literally 50 feet away. Um, so a lot of people come here if they wanna do sports and things like that, but it literally neighbors the psychology department. I've also got a note that basically Campus West is like way bigger than probably what it seems in this video, purely because I didn't really spend much time on Campus West. I was solely an East baby. I had my college there, I had my department there, so I never really came to Campus West, only for the library, but that's on the outer side of the campus and for the bars. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really know much about this campus, so the tour might be a little shorter or a little less in depth for this side. Okay, we just had the mini send off with the geese trying to get through. And then over here is Wentworth College. This lake also spans all around the campus largest plastic bottom lake in Europe, so I'm told. So this is the environment building. It's also one of the new builds for this campus, so it's quite nice. So this building here is biology. And it goes back as well, and there's more greenhouses around the other side. And they're the biology greenhouses I was talking about. And then this building right there is music. And now we're basically gonna go up this way to the library. Okay, so at the moment we are passing the Vambra Nucleus, which is like their common room. And it reminds me of this funny story. Um, oh God, my housemate's gonna kill me if he watches this. That in our first year for Halloween, we were like doing, like trying to do like a bar crawl of all the campus bars because all of the clubs are quite expensive to go to for Halloween. And we didn't really know that, so we didn't book any tickets or anything. So we couldn't go anywhere. So we were like, we'll just do the campus bars and stuff like that. Anyway. He got so drunk and then ended up passing out in the Vambra common rooms. And we were like, what can we do? So we either were like, we leave him or we just wait for him to like sort himself out. So we waited for him to sort himself out and just got a pizza. <laughs> and I think he hates us for it <laughs> to this day a little bit. Okay, so this is Eurovy. I actually still don't know how to say that. Eurovy? 
don't know, the <laughs> university radio. Um, I went on here in my final year, big up chess. And uh, yeah, it's kind of fun to listen to. It's one of the things I think that not many people know about, but they do some really good seller playlists if you're preying and also like good interviews with people around campus. You can't see the library, but basically this walkway goes up to the library. But it also leads to Market Square. So this is where the uni shop is. Nisa, which is like a convenience store, the bank, the York Law School Law Clinic, Hey, You also have a hairdresser's here too. So this is the little walkway and you kind of like come round and then it leads up to the library. So we have three libraries here at the University of York. You have the main one, Morel, which has all of your books in it. And that's like the main study space that people use. You can never get a seat there in exam season. Then you have Fairfax, which is basically more of like an interactive space to hang out with people. And if you have group projects, that's a good place to go. And then over here, this little building here is called Burton and it's where you go if you want serious study. Literally opened a packet of crisps once in Burton and got death stares. So it's literally you go there like day before deadline, crisis mode, that's what Burton's for. Okay, so we're gonna talk all things library. The library is open, I think 362 days a year. So basically it's open every day, bar like Christmas day, New Year's, stuff like that. And it's open 24 seven. There's library staff here, I think from about 7 a.m. to about 7 p.m. So you, if you have any queries and stuff, you can go ask them at front desk but it is open longer than that if you want to stay here all night and do some more nighters I am pretty guilty of doing that I think you can book out something daft like 20 or 50 books at a time I currently have 17 booked out from the library so you know you can book out quite a few and then you can renew them online so you don't have to keep coming back to renew them or anything like that and also in the library they have like a little costa like a little cafe place so you can go and get drinks and things so this is the library down here you have the bus stop that goes into Campus East and then like here you have the bus stop that goes into town. And now for the final stop on the Campus West tour, which is like the bit behind the library. So you have the STEM Centre, you have the medical school and you also have Alquin and a few other departments. I think there's the healthcare department, the social work department. I want to say something computery, there's a computer lab there and also chemistry. So a lot of departments are based in Alquin and around like this bit around the library. And also there is two, they're not like bars, but they're like cafes, I suppose. Um, one's called Alquin Kitchen and one's called something I can't remember, <laughs> bistro, something like that. Um, and they are good also student union, like cafes where stuff is discounted and you can get like food and coffee throughout the year. So this is obviously the library. And then this bridge leads us over to Alquin and the other university departments. Oh, look at the little rabbit. Normally these absolutely roam all around campus, especially on campus east. So these are some of the Alquin accommodation blocks. And you also have this one that looks a bit like this. So right now we are in the middle of Alquin. Alquin is kind of known to be a bit of the boring college. But then having said that, a lot of the fun people that I know are from Alquin. So perhaps that reputation isn't exactly accurate. All I know really about Alquin is that there's a lot of departments, university departments around here. So it's pretty handy for a lot of people right by the library. And I think that's why it gets this boring reputation. And also the accommodation here is typically a lot nicer than the accommodation on West more generally just because I think it's just a bit newer. Okay so all of these buildings here are the science park which is basically like where chemistry and stuff like that is. If you see that tower right there that is the chemistry tower. Okay so we are back at Heslington Hall so that's pretty much a full circuit of Campus West. Editing me will show you the Charles which is like the main pub in this area of campus because I just don't want to walk. And also it will show you Halifax, which is the final college I haven't mentioned. All I really know about Halifax is it's also a bit sporty. It's right by the rugby pitches. And a lot of people go there if they're in clearing because it's the only accommodation that's really left. That's what I really know. But that wraps this video up. I hope you liked it and also a few of the stories along the way. Any questions about the campus, then put them in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. I will see you next week. Bye guys.